Hey, this is Foxbury 420. Um, I'm speaking quietly the because there's a meeting going on. It is very hard but um, for all of us to help I wanted to show you exactly what goes on every night yes. and other times during the day. It's very difficult to right now, what we're about to see is how they negotiate different ideas that they talk about <coughs> and also making sure that each person here is informed so that they know what's going to be going on. Nobody gets lost through all this. This is kind of like what separates this from a lot of other movements is, you know, before they protest, go back to headquarters, start guys some more, then protest. Here they are protesting right here, and they are also planning and doing the meetings in the same spot. <clears throat> it's actually a lot more efficient and and you know a lot better way and especially here where everyone gets to stand amongst this crowd this is where everybody's voice gets heard anyways I'm gonna I'm only limited to 30 minutes of video so I won't be able to show you the whole thing but here's what I'm talking about plan on staying the whole night with uh, <coughs> yeah. 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 Um, walk over here with me so, so I can try to get a better shot. says something on the West repeat. It's for the people further back who can't hear. Yeah. Basically they are leaving no room for mistakes. Cool. It is obvious that this is well organized and well planned. So once again when you think of uncertainties, you know, here I see more and more ways of how they're making the uncertainties seem less likely. Everything about this is for a greater good. You know, they're fighting for anybody who's <clears throat> pretty much been fucked over by the by the government or the banks, Congress, or social government. You know, this right here, what you're seeing, this right here is history in the making. This is something we could give back to our children when they, when they come about and get ready to make their lives and that's only because here and not just here but all over the country the people stood up and made a stand so that our, not only us me I'm 20 I you know I haven't experienced my future yet. So in a way that we're also kinda 
fighting for my generation, but the next generation we're also fighting for. <clears throat> this we're unsure that all all the generations to follow will have, in fact, a future. And as I said earlier, if anybody wonders if the American dream is still alive or if it's passed away a long time ago, well, right behind me is proof that the American dream is still alive. <clears throat> And if it were to ever fully die, for the second the people stand back up, that's the beauty of it. No matter what, you can always fight to keep it, to keep it going. Even after after it's long gone, you can always fight to bring it back. Once again, I say this is history in the making. And I encourage anybody watching this to come out and be part of it. <clears throat>